We are now on to Lesson 5. Good news about Lesson 5 is that there's no new endings, really, to memorize. But there is, there is some grammar that we need to learn. So last lesson, we talked about the article. This is in English. We say the, um, the something. In Greek, it's, it doesn't map on completely to English. You don't always translate the article as the, and sometimes the article is missing, and you don't always translate words as a. Uh, but it is, it is similar to English. One big difference is before proper nouns, Greek often has the article. So like the Moses or the David, where we would not do that in English. We just say Moses or David. Okay, but the forms are a little different, but they are mostly the same as what you've already seen with nouns. The same goes with adjectives down here. The adjectives are exactly the same as what you've seen with nouns. So let's go back down to the paradigm that we were looking at last time. And so now we can compare with the article as well. So notice in the nominative, we have a difference where you have os here. You only have o with the article. And then in the neuter, you have to instead of on. However, the neuter is still the same in the nominative and the accusative, like it's the same in the, the nouns and adjectives as well. The feminine, though, is the same. It's just i and kali. So those are the same. In the plural, they are all exactly the same as their endings. And the rest of these in the, in the singular are also the same. So this is, it is vitally important and it will become even more important when we get into irregular nouns and stuff. The article never changes. So the article helps give away what a noun is. So please, please, please memorize the article. It is super important. And it should be very familiar with what you've already learned with nouns. So coming back up here to lesson five, you have new words up here. Notice, so with nouns, you were used to there being the word and then the article. With adjectives, though, what you're going to see is the word, the feminine form, and then the neuter form. And that just tells you what declensions that adjective can take. So that's a little bit different for how it shows up in the lexicon when you're looking up a word. But, okay, let's go to... Uh, okay, so adjectives. Adjectives modify nouns. They add on to nouns. So kalos means good. So if I want to say the good man, I would use kalos um, because adjectives are going to share in the same gender and number with the noun that they're modifying. So if I want to say the good man, I would use the masculine adjective. I want to, if I wanted to say the good woman, I would use the feminine. If I wanted to say like the good work, something in the neuter, I would use the neuter form of the adjective. So let's go over here. There are different ways to make the adjective modify the, the noun that it modifies. And so there is the attributive, the predicate, and then the substantive. We're going to talk about each of these. So attributive means that the adjective becomes an attribute of the noun. So like I was saying, this says the good slave or the faithful heart, the first child. Okay, 
So those are all, they're all attributes. Good is an attribute of the slave. Faithful is an attribute of the heart. First is an attribute of the child. The difference here is then there is also an adjective can be a predicate. And that is a word after an is. So I can say, Yerarofi dikea. The sister is righteous. The sister is righteous. The Lord is holy. The work is evil. Notice that there's an is here. It's not, it's not an attribute of the noun. So like here, I could say the good slave and then uh, use it in a sentence like with a verb. The good slave works hard. Something like that. Where here, I can't say the sister is righteous works hard. No, sister, the sister is righteous is a thought in itself. So righteous is a predicate of sister. It has is in there and it makes it a complete thought. But notice here that there's different ways to form the attributive and the predicate. So here you have article, adjective, noun for the good slave, but you can also do article, noun, article, adjective. So it looks like this is the slave, the good, but in Greek, we would just translate this, this as the good slave. Same goes down here. We have the heart, the faithful. We would just translate it as the faithful heart. And same here. The child, the first. We would just translate it as the first child. Down here in the predicate, notice that the adjective doesn't have the article. So the article goes before the noun but not the adjective. So we have the sister righteous. So we just have to supply an is there. But notice here, we can also put righteous before the article. So here we have righteous, the sister. And so you just need to mentally flip that around and say the sister is righteous. Same thing here. The Lord holy. Okay? Rather than the slave, the good, it's lacking the article. It's just the Lord is holy. Okay, So that's attributive and predicate. Hopefully that makes sense. I can get, it's a bit hard to get used to, but because it's different than English. But you, uh, as you read more and more, these will get more familiar. Okay, then the last one here is the substantive use. This is just turning the adjective into a noun, making it substantive. And that is just by putting the article before the adjective with no noun. And so it kind of just stands on its own. And the article tells you that it's being used like a noun. So here we have faithful. And if we just stick the article before, we would translate this as the faithful ones, the faithful people. Or like here, we have the holy. And you, you, it's now a noun, the holy ones, or this is the word for saints, to the saints in Colossae or wherever. So substantive, it becomes substantive, right? It has weight now. It is a noun. And then the last thing Croy points out, so if you remember a few lessons ago, we talked about how the accusative is the direct object of the noun. That is most of the time the case, but there are a few verbs that will take a different case as their object. So akuo, you'll see, often takes the genitive as its object. So here this this means I heard the voice. So you don't say I heard of the voice. You don't add an of there. It is the object of um, of the verb. And the same goes with pistevo. Often takes the dative here. 
So, and here we do often, we, you, you could translate this as, I believe in the word. So sometimes you will keep the dative in there, but not always. So like here they say, I believe the word. And so you'll, you'll hopefully just know by context whether it's believe in or just believe the word. Okay, and then that is it. So that should be enough for you to read the chapter and go to work. We hope you enjoyed this episode of The Bible Toolbox. All of the resources mentioned in this episode are posted on our website, thebibletoolbox.com. There you can also find out more information on how to give and support us. And we have loved all of the encouragement and feedback we've received from you. So thanks so much.